You're listening to Kate Palmer from sparkletart.com and today I'm creating a clean and simple scrapbook page layout using the new neon graffiti sets from Lindy's Stamp Gang. Now for those who haven't seen this yet, Lindy's Stamp Gang has released a new set of colours, neon colours, in flat fabios, so no shimmer, embossing powders and magicals and that's what I'll be using today. They're gorgeous. I'm going to start by adding sidewalk chalk. Now this is an opaque white, although on craft cardstock, which is quite absorbent, you may need to add more than one layer for that opacity to build. I don't know if you can see it here, but I'm depressing the nozzle of the bottle quite slowly and that results in these sort of spots and drips happening. The quicker you press, the finer the mist. The slower you press, the blobbier it will look, which in this case is what I wanted. And then a few splats elsewhere on the craft cardstock. Now it might take a couple of applications on the craft until it's really nice and white. And the trick to doing that is to just apply it on the areas where it already is and just sort of build up the layer of that chalky colour. Now this section here where I'm applying it most needs to be just a little bit bigger than my actual image. And then what I'm going to do is while it's still wet, take the blazing black and apply the drip. And then I'll give a little shake on some of the other areas of the craft as well, just so it's not all by itself. Not too much though, because that black is quite strong. And then while still wet, I've got some of the popping pink. I'm just going to add a little bit of that in as well. Now you can see how gorgeous that black is. It looks like black ink. It's wonderful. Now I'm just going to let this dry. I might hurry it up with the heat gun. Once this first layer of colour is dry, hold the image that you'll be attaching to this page over the top just to check the size. What you're aiming for is to have some of that colour and pattern peeking out from behind the photo. Also give a thought to any embellishments or background pieces of card that you might want to put behind the photo and make sure that your paint area on the page is big enough to be seen behind all of this. If it's not, Add a little more colour. There. I've got some really nice runs in that um, black. I think that will probably do it nicely. I'm going to add a little tiny bit more of that black. Again, I'm not spraying the black. I'm just flicking it on because it's a very strong colour. Now I need a tiny bit more of that popping pink, although I am going to use this in other areas, so... I think that'll do. Well, I might just make a few more of these dots a bit brighter. And all I'm really doing there is... I'm just layering the pink here to make the colour a bit stronger. So if you put one colour over the same colour that was already there, it makes it brighter. All I really did there was sort of just tap it on with the tail. Now at this point I'm going to add a tiny bit of the luminous lemon. Just a little, because I don't want it to compete with that pink. So it's just a hint.
and that will be it and the rest of that will be on the embellishments. Now let's give that a quick dry again. It's got a really nice subtle white um, and the black sort of through it but then the same colors more intense as I flicked them on the cardstock where it's not already white so that's gonna make a really fun cool background to start off with now I need to go and uh, let this flatten so I'm just gonna go and put it under a book I've got some light molding paste from golden and the poppin pink in the magicals along with a little stencil. I'm going to mix some of the Poppin Pink Magicals, the dry powder, into the light molding paste. This will color the paste and create a fantastic bright neon pink texture paste. Um, I put this on a few projects at the time because it is gorgeous. Now make sure it's mixed well so all of the little bits of dye are mixed into the color. You can either apply this to a stencil pattern and press it onto your page for a little bit of grungy texture or like you would normally do you can apply it through the stencil for a far more precise more defined look. I'm going to do both because I'd like a little bit of you know, grunge to this a little bit of edge. I've sprayed a few bits of cardstock with some of the neon graffiti colors to act as collage layers you can see them in the top corner there but I'm also going to create some matching embellishments so I just have some assorted chipboard pieces I have inked them up with Versamark ink and I'm just going to color them with the luminous lemon and the pop and pink embossing powders now just as you would normally do uh, tap off the excess put it back into the jar to save and use later and then heat the embossing powder with a heat gun and this will make the most amazing neon embellishments perfect for pretty much any project. I um, really found the colour on these quite stunning. Uh, I was expecting the pink to dull a little as I heated it but it didn't. It, can, it just it stayed that beautiful bright neon pink. I was really quite happy. So nicely done Lindy Stamp Gang. This is a gorgeous colour and I think the embossing powders may almost be my favourite of the uh, three products. They were fantastic. And when you put the page together, you get these beautiful pops of colour. A little bit of uh, interest in the background. You can see the fantastic white from the Lindy spray and I've got the pink here mixed with the light molding paste the embossed embellishments and it makes a really eye-catching page with a vintage photo now for any of you who are wondering the photo is actually of my mum with her brother when they were babies um, and I've coloured it with Copic markers on glossy cardstock. I love the way that the fluorescent really updates the vintage photo, makes it look a little bit more modern, um, and I think it's a great way to incorporate some of those old family photos into more modern scrapbooking pages. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll be back with more soon.